player has appeared. And we're back. So we got a comment from Fairy Cat that wanted us to date Hugo. That's my favorite daddy. Thank you. <laughs> Very excited to date another dad. Sarah was asking us, uh, Sarah. Hello. <laughs> um, in case anyone needed a reminder on who everybody was. And I'm Jen. Yep. Um, Sarah was super excited to date any other daddies. <laughs> so um, that anyone, Fairy Cat, decided Hi, Fairy to Cat. Uh, request somebody is amazing. And also, Hugo, like My you said. My favorite. I love it. <laughs> Thank gonna, you. We're going to try and date Hugo. Let's get a reminder on Hugo. <clears throat> <clears throat> Go ahead, Hugo. I'm a middle school teacher, high school teacher, writer of scholarly articles on 18th century literature for various esteemed publications. If you're hot. La, 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 la. <laughs> if you're here, if you're on here to tell me that my son put a cherry bomb in your trash, I know, and I'm sorry. I vaguely remember that. <laughs> on a Friday night, I'm most likely to brew some strong tea and paint my miniatures. Does that mean he's into D and D? My heart a pitter patter for D and D. Hey, maybe he's talking about like train sets or something. Oh. I'm sure we'll find out. No, for me, it's D and D. <laughs> If I had to take one thing with me on a desert island... Desert island? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. I was it like, happens. babe, you fucked up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All the cake. All the cake. What would it be? <clears throat> a Remembrance of Things Past by Marcel Proust. Hmm. My turn-ons are muscles. Muscles. Particularly on the arms. Oh. <laughs> mm. What did I want to be when I grow up? I wanted to be a movie star. Tell us more, Hugo. My ideal date. Each of us read a different book on opposite sides of the couch in a comfortable silence. Hugo, what's your favorite movie genre? Oh, I forgot about that. Documentaries on art history. Okay. And what would I never leave home without? My glasses. Actually, I forgot them at home a lot. <laughs> Finally, I spend a lot of time thinking about that I worry that people who are against e-readers are more in love with the idea of books than actually reading them. I think that's physically and in all actuality me. <laughs> I buy way more books than I actually read. That's me yes. in a nutshell. I have a problem with that. Yeah. I do eventually read them, but... Well, I was going to say, it's, it's no problem to have a large library. It's just you have to read them every mm -hmm. now and then. <laughs> so we're going to message Hugo, right? Yes. Let's All do right. it. That's what Fairy Cat wants. Dad tip number five. Everyone needs to know how to use power tools. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> never give up, never remember. <laughs> that might be more drunk dad tip. Never give up, always always forget. Eat a balanced meal every day that includes vegetables, fruit, and proteins. Uh, meat's a vegetable, right? <laughs> I navigate to Hugo's dad's uh, dad book page and type out a message. What do we type? Oh shit, is our hair uh, gonna get in the I, way I was of just about to say that. Hey Hugo, great seeing you at the barbecue. Wanna hang out sometime? Oh, by the way guys, so you can get an idea of where we are. We're two dates into dating uh, Joseph. Joseph. And that was our last safe spot where I was able to kind of pick up before the, the epilogue. So now we're dating Hugo. I don't know if that's going to affect the story at all, but hopefully it won't. Hopefully Joseph's not like, You are two dates with me, you fucking freeloader! You Only ate my cookies way. and brownies! <laughs> Jealous <laughs> lover. Only one way to find out. Yeah. We'll find out. Uh, I wait a few minutes before the computer dings. It's pretty good. I don't even have some Twitter followers. There's the yeah, hair. I can't even read it all. I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm so glad you messaged me, and I definitely want to hang out sometime, but I have a favor to ask. Mm -hmm. Our class is going on a field trip to the aquarium today, and one of our chaperones something got dick. sick. Yeah, something Called dick. in sick. <laughs> is there any possible way that you could come by and help them? <laughs> Uh-oh. Does that mean he's going on Go, field trip with them. Amanda? Uh, maybe. Cause oh, it, she, yeah. Hugo is the teacher, right? Yeah. Hey, it's been a little while, guys, since we've... I think it's been since July. Since mm -hmm. we've... I think she, she graduated, though. Yes. 
She graduated in the Joseph days. At the end of Joseph's Mm -hmm. days. But she hasn't graduated yet because we're back in time We backtracked. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We had to go back to a previous save. Oh. So she's still in school and we could get the bad Amanda editing. I don't know. Okay. Um, Yeah. What did Hugo say? I completely understand if you don't want to or can't make it, but I'm going to be honest with you here. It's the middle school class. I need oh. as much help as I can get. Okay, so he teaches yeah. multiple grades. Think about it for a moment. Man, it's a lot of screaming kids that I'd be accountable for. And they're in middle school. Arguably the worst age to be. Amanda silently trudges into the kitchen and pours herself a bowl of cereal. Morning, Amanda. Again, so you guys get an idea. This is just after the night where she was crying in her room. And then we made her a cake. And uh, she she was kind of happy about things. Um, We're doing good. We're doing we, our best. She found out that the one of the Emmas was dating the other guy, which she had a crush on, and they've been mm. dating in secret for years. Noah. Noah. There you go. Wow. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. He, was the, he was the pickle boy. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the night after. Just to give you guys a timeline here. Morning, pops. Hey. How was middle school for you? Bad. (laughs) But nobody likes middle school. It's three years of bad acne, crying, and being generally, generally terrible. Sounds like adulthood. Everyone sucks. No self-awareness. It's just a bunch of hormonal teenagers locked in a gross old building for 40 plus hours a week, doing long division and starting fights over, I don't know, pizza day? Top 40s pop? In middle school? (laughs) (laughs) Apparently. How far back in time did we go? Oh, that's right. We uh, we went pretty far back. But uh, somebody... Not not as far as the 40s. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Go ahead, Amanda. I'll mention it in the next episode. Middle schoolers should be avoided at all costs. Hmm. What was your middle school experience like? (laughs) I don't remember, I didn't like it, or I thought it was fine. Oh. I don't think we should do the bottom one. Yeah, no, middle school was awful. Uh, do we want to feel old, or do we want to feel uh, like we're, we're hip with her? Oh, I'm traumatized. I, I I would go with the relating to my daughter one. I didn't, I didn't like, like it. it. Okay. You say so-so also? Yeah. So-so-so-so? It was traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> I had my first crush in middle school, and I'm still bitter about it. Alexis Stuggs, you hurt me and I'll never forget. Hmm. What'd she do to you? I stare off in, into middle distance, remembering the 24 hours that we dated and the three times we held hands between class periods. Three times in, oh in 24 God. hours is pretty good. So middle school, I love it. <laughs> really then I remember the bitter betrayal. Her leaving me for Arnold Birmingham. Him making me eat dirt in front of her. Oh fuck. I don't want to talk about it. Oh. See, middle schoolers are reprehensible. Wait, why are you asking me about middle school? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, Mr. Uh, Vega requested my help to chaperone his middle school class to the aquarium. Just wanted to know what I was in for. <clears throat> you get to go to the aquarium? Are you kidding me? Hmm. The last field trip I got to go to, uh, la, la. <laughs> Man, I'm not doing good. La, 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 la. Was to the clam chowder factory. They didn't even give us clam chowder. They gave us square pizza at a clam chowder factory. Square pizza. Penis cactus. <laughs> I, know I, mentioned, I know I mentioned it in the, last, in the last series, but there's so many phallic objects in here. The nose? <laughs> yep. Square pizza's delicious, Amanda. Oh, is that why you won't eat clam chowder anymore? Uh, no, it's because Bobby Wellingham threw up Ugh. into one of the vats of clam chowder, uh, and I'm the only one who saw it happen. Oh, that's does just, that mean everybody ate it? That's so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it haunts me. Right, let's leave that story firmly in the past. Huh. Anyway, you should just do it. Mr. Vegas sounds like he could really use the help. Plus, you get to hang out with cool fish. Uh, cool fish. Amanda, I get a, I get kind of weird about aquariums. The ocean makes me nervous. What? Are you worried that a whale is gonna pop out of the tank and touch, touch you tank. and swallow you whole? <laughs> Don't you put fear in my heart. <laughs> well, do they have penguins there? Yes, they have penguins there. How would he know that? 
Ooh. How would I know that? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, then it's settled. Penguins don't outweigh the fear of the ocean. Penguins get eaten by stuff in the ocean. Shh. <laughs> I sit back, or I sit back down at the computer and let Hugo know that I'm available. So available. <laughs> he tells me to meet him at the aquarium and gives me the address. I grab my keys and kiss Amanda on the forehead before I head out. I arrive at the aquarium to find that the school buses have beaten me there. Preteens huddle around the teachers in small groups, yelling at each other and goofing off. Every teacher looks like they're at their wit's end. <sighs> Hugo jogs up to me, looking frazzled. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, Hugo! Uh, it's been a debacle all morning. We're shorthanded and most of the kids won't stop screaming, as I'm sure you know is the case with all middle schoolers. Of course. I lived through Amanda at 12. I'm all too familiar. Oh. Great. Well, it's you and me chaperoning a group of 10 kids. They're over here. That doesn't sound half bad. Yeah. Hugo walks me over to the gaggle of preteens who are all sitting on the ground, playing with their phones. They're not kicking each other like some of the other groups, so we're off to a good start. Oh. Can you guys put your phones away? They recorded his vocals in a different room. I can hear it. It sounds echoey. I don't like it. <laughs> Hugo, how dare you? Don't talk about me that way. <laughs> <laughs> all the kids look up for a moment to stare at Hugo. Then they go back to texting. At least they're quiet. Oh. Too quiet. These guys are up to something. I can <laughs> feel it in my teacher bones. In my teacher bone. Right there on his dick. In my, <laughs> in my singular teacher bone. <laughs> There's no way. They're too busy thinking about not getting food stuck in their braces to pull any stunts. It's middle school after all. Oh. We'll see. What you got for me, Hugo? Classes start filing into the aquarium, and Hugo's hands or Hugo hands out massive stapled packets of paper to each kid. These are due at the end of the field trip. Yes, this will be for a grade. No, you can't borrow a pencil. <laughs> Rude. Yeah. Pens geez. only, black or blue. <laughs> jeez, man, blue for the sea. These kids collectively groan and grab the sheets from Hugo. It's kind of strict. What's in the packet? Oh. Honestly, it's just busy work so that teachers can have a moment's reprieve. I think one of the questions asked them to sit quietly for 10 minutes to think about the Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> it's very clever. Teacher hacks. I like that. Wait, I thought you were an English teacher. What does the aquarium have to do with books? Oh. We just did a unit on the old man and the sea. Nothing quite like introducing kids to the fruitile perseverance of the human spirit by making them pet stingrays. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it gives us time to check out some of the exhibits as well. Come on, they have a phenomenal selection of tropical fish. While the kids sit on the floor and pretend to do their assignments while they text, Hugo and I wander over to a large tank filled with brightly colored fish. Hugo points to a brown and white fish with long spines. It's him, but in fish form. <laughs> and the spines are his dick. Mmm. Mm. That right there is a lionfish. Did you know that their stomachs can expand up to 30 times in size? <laughs> like my mouth. Oh! <laughs> whoa! Ah. Their spines are venomous, too. <laughs> like Go me with your venom, daddy. <laughs> Nature is hardcore. Oh! You think that's bad? Take a look at this one over here. Hugo points to a spiny, grumping-looking fish. Hanging over or hanging out near the bottom of the tank. Hey! That's a stonefish. Oh fuck. The most venomous fish in the world. I don't know if it's the most venomous, but venomous, but they will fucking murder you. <laughs> stonefish are avid killers of anyone who's going out to like reefs and stuff. Why are they in the aquarium? That sounds dangerous. And nobody's walking around the aquarium. And they're just like, keep it here? See my question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're relatively harmless. So long as you don't step on them. See, they're fine. What happens if you step on them? You die. Oh. <laughs> oh. Tissue necrosis. No, yeah. it's the worst. Those nasty. Oh no, what, what is that exactly? Sarah, the nurse, what happens? They're, your skin and flesh and everything just literally starts to rot off. Yeah, oh. it's, it dies it's, immediately, right? It's disgusting. Ugh. I mean, ugh. Cool. Oh. 
Nature is wild. <laughs> Man, Hugo seems to know a lot about fish. I feel the overwhelming need to impress him. Hey, uh, see the fish over there? Oh. That one? Oh god, they're gonna ask me a question and I won't know the difference of it. Uh oh. Yeah, that's the American longfish. <laughs> Blue nosed weekly fish. For the humphead wrasse. I like the humphead wrasse. I'm, I'm between humphead and blue nose. I like so. blue nose. Do blue oh, nose. Okay, I like the blue, blue nose wiggly fish. Hmm? Oh, oh Yeah? Did you know that paranormal fish trivia, <laughs> psychiatric fish trivia, or political fish trivia? Go with paranormal. That seems to be more your alley. Yeah, but I don't know if that's Hugo's alley. He's a teacher. He's into the sciences. He knows. I don't think he cares about paranormal. Hmm. I think he's going to do psychiatric or political. Probably political. I, I like political. Yeah. Okay. What do you say, kid? Do political. Political. This fish openly supports the legalization of marijuana. <laughs> marijuana? Which is actually perfect because they allow it in the state that the game is set in. Mm. Ooh. Oh, oh, we got no. it! Oh, <laughs> They're splashing around everywhere. I didn't know it was that progressive. Times are changing, my man. Oh. Wait, are you serious? Uh. 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 uh I guess. I don't like either. Yeah, I don't like either of them. I guess yes. Yeah, here is a heart attack. Heart attack is serious sure. business. Sure. We're talking fish here. There's no time for jokes. Hmm. Oh. oh. That's. A clownfish. I didn't know that! Uh, 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 right. We lead the kids to another room. Sharks, sea turtles, eels, and other marine life swim around in a massive floor-to-ceiling aquarium. The kids begin trying to take selfies with the sharks. But I think we're going to have to hold it off until next time, ladies. How about you say, uh, beep? Bop. Boop. You excited about being yeah, back? Yeah, I am. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's happy. great. Thank you, Fairy. This is yeah. this is amazing. I'm super glad that we're back here. Yeah, this is so much fun. I love it. I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased. I want to know what happens already. Oh no. <laughs> we'll find out soon, right? Yeah.